Welcome, I'm Rev. Samuel Owino, <laughs> coming to you live from coastal Kenya. Today I want us to talk on the subject, faith. Now, let us start by definition. What is faith? Faith is a conviction of the, of the truth of anything. Faith it is a conviction of the true truth of anything. That is according to Thayer's translation. Now, faith is a persuasion. It is a conviction, according to Strong's tra uh, translation. And it is an assurance. You see, there's some t there are times when Jesus used to say, Assuredly, I say unto you. It is assurance. It is, assur it is assurance. It is a persuasion. It is a conviction. A firm persuasion. It is a steadfast belief. <laughs> I talk about faith. Now, that is common faith, normal faith. But now, here we are talking about, because I'm a believer, I'm a pastor, and I'm talking about now, biblical faith. What is a biblical faith? It is a persuasion based on God's word. Biblical faith is a persuasion based on God's word. And also we have what we call head faith. Head faith it is a persuasion based on on feelings, circumstances, surroundings, or your own understanding. That is now head faith. Head faith. It is a persuasion based on feelings because when you are sick, you can say, I'm feeling stomach ache. Hallelujah. That's now head faith. Okay. Based on, um, on feelings, um, feelings or circumstances, because now we are in a, a pandemic time, we can say economy is down. That is now circumstances or surroundings. What is happening around you? Sometimes there's uh, bad things happens ar uh, happening uh, around us. You see, or it's your own understanding because that is also be can be your faith because you we can we, we, it depends on personal perspective. Sometimes you look look at you look at things and you say this thing I'm seeing I'm going to be sick tomorrow. I'm go I'm seeing I'm going to be sacked from a job. I am I'm feeling as if I'm going to do what to get bad news. That is what we call head faith. Which, which is which is a persuasion based on feelings, based on circumstances, based on surroundings, or your own understanding. Hallelujah. In everyday life, we may say, I believe or think that something is so. Amen. What we often mean is that we are not quite sure. When we say, I think or I believe, it means we are not quite sure. We're quite sure, but we believe or think so. Now, Bible faith is not that way. We don't think. In Bible faith, we don't think. We don't say we believe, you see. Bible faith is fully persuaded, you see. Bible faith, you see, Abraham believed God. He was persuaded that whoever had spoken a thing, it was there. to him there is no a shadow of change. So, he was fully persuaded. Now, biblical, biblical faith is fully persuaded. Now, when one is fully persuaded, one does not say, I think so. One will say, I know so. Because Abraham knew his God. He was fully persuaded of his God and be willing to fight for what he believes in. Amen? I'm saying, Bible faith is fully persuaded. When one is fully persuaded, one does not say, I think so. But one will say, I know so, and we will be willing to fight for whatever he knows that is right to be done. This is the way Bible faith is. <laughs> Hallelujah. Abraham, Abraham trusts God. He believed in God. For example, we as believers, we don't say, I don't think, uh, I don't, uh, I don't think Jesus died or and rose again. I know he died and rose again. We are fully persuaded and willing to convince um, others of it. I'm fully persuaded that Jesus died and he rose again on the third day. So I don't just think, but it's something that I know. That is what we call biblical faith. Now, if you cannot convince others, then your faith is not very firm. If you cannot uh, convince others on whatever you believe in, in whatever you know, then your faith is not firm. 
now faith is persuade, fully persuade, persuaded and also be willing to tell others confidentially hallelujah in whatever you believe in you tell others with confidence whatever you believe in so faith is fully um, persuaded then then uh, okay faith is fully persuaded willing to convince others of it now if you cannot convince others then your faith is not very very firm and it is important for our faith to be firm because it is by faith faith that moves mountain a godly faith hallelujah a god-sized faith now faith is not okay faith will believe what god has said amen faith will believe what god has said when all others all other evidence say the opposite i mean when all other sources say no uh faith will say yes on whatever God has said and I say faith will believe what God has said when all other sources uh, the other evidences say the opposite amen so faith is not a feeling faith is not a feeling according to the book of uh, 2nd Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 7 for we walk by faith not by sight we believers we walk by faith even in the middle of, uh, of, of of calamity we still believe that always god makes way even in the middle of affliction we will still believe that god is in full control amen <laughs> he is in full control even in the middle of affliction we believe that god is in so um faith is not feeling for we walk by faith not by sight because your sight will sometimes our eyes whatever we see sometimes we get be cheated and throw us to to doubt so for example most people are born again without their senses being aware that they have faith most of the people are born again without their senses being aware that they have faith yet all is saved by faith yes you know when we accept lord jesus christ our personal savior if if you are long you you are <laughs> uh, okay i mean if you are a short man you will remain short your length does not go up because now you are saved if you are slender you don't grow fatter because now you are saved now we are getting saved by faith by believing in lord jesus christ so some believers they don't know that they have faith but all who are saved they have faith believing that god raised jesus from the dead and uh confessing him believing him confessing with your mouth that is lord now that is what we call what faith okay now for example when you ask god to forgive you according to john first john chapter 1 verses 9 you don't feel forgiven but if you believe the feelings don't matter it is it is still so you believe it doesn't matter how because sometimes you ask for forgiveness and you still remain guilty you see your feeling might uh, sometimes cheat you okay for example for example sight or feeling do not always tell me that i have joy or peace but jesus said i do have them <laughs> you see <laughs> sight or feelings do not always tell me that i have joy or peace but jesus had said i do have joy and peace so we do not walk by sight but we walk by what by faith now conclusion conclusion faith is a conviction based upon what we have had hallelujah faith is a conviction based upon what we have had now if you believe that the greater one is in you then you have faith I repeat again if you believe that the greater one is in you then you have faith if you believe that jesus rose from the dead then you have faith you might you might have not known before but today i am putting to your knowledge that you might know that if you believe that jesus rose from the dead then you have faith if you believe that jesus is coming again then you have faith if you believe that jesus is coming again then you have faith it is easy <laughs> just believing 
Just being fully persuaded. Just being convicted. You see? Inside of you. If you are fully con Now, by faith, don't say, I think. We don't think that Jesus died. We know that he died and he rose again. We know that he's coming again. We know that he ascended to heaven. We know that he gave us, he gave us power <laughs> to tread over snakes. We know that he gave us power to cast out demons. We know that he gave us power to heal the sick. So, by faith, we know. We don't just believe. Amen? So, I repeat again. I was talking about what faith is. And I said, and I repeat again, that faith is a conviction of the truth of anything. According to Thea's translation, and also faith is persuasion, conviction. According to Strong's translation, and I said, it is assurance, a persuasion, a conviction, a firm persuasion, a steadfast belief. But I said, biblical faith is persuasion based on God's word. So salvation is, is, is uh, salvation is persuasion based on salvation comes by faith, and which is biblical faith is a persuasion based on God's word. We are not hearing what other people are saying about us, but we believe what God has said about us. There is this preacher who is saying, "Whose report will you believe? We shall believe the report of the Lord." You see, and I'm asking you, whose report will you believe? Now, if you believe the word of God, then now we have faith. And all believers, some of us are knowing. It's a, it is like someone who can be one who is having a gun in the pocket, and yet someone is harassing them using a rungu <laughs> or a stick. So faith is a weapon. I said faith is the hand that we, we, we use to receive from God. The hand that we use to receive from God is what we call faith. Now, that brings us to end. Now, and when I come back, I'll talk about oh, why faith is necessary. Yes, expect that. Why faith is necessary. Because some of the things we just learn, and after learning, we don't take, we don't see the importance of it. And now we say, okay, I'm saved and it is enough. enough. Now, when I, come up, when I come back, I'll talk about why faith is necessary why it is necessary to have faith or to know because as long as you are saved you have faith it is only that you do not know so i'll talk about why it is necessary to have faith the necessity of faith god bless you i love you i'm rev samuel owino of grace abundance evangelism center here in a place known as watamu coastal kenya kilifi county county in Timboni Village. Thank you for following. Feel free to subscribe. Feel free to view. Feel free to uh, to do what to to, to 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 share and even to like. And also, I depend on hearing your comments. You see, yes, it is important. And also, don't fail to watch the uh, uh, the, the entire video. Watch it, and it will. Be, and feel free to take the points and teach others because Paul told Timothy. To teach people who are ready to teach others. God bless you. Amen.